Conversions in analytics are credited to the last referral, search, or ad clicked before the conversion happened. But what role did prior referrals and ads play in that conversion? How much time passed between the visitor's initial interest and the actual purchase? The multi-channel funnels reports answer these questions and others by showing how your marketing channels work together to create sales and conversions. The reports are generated from conversion paths, the sequence of channel interactions that lead up to conversions. Google Analytics can track visitor interactions with search engines, referral sites, social networks, and even offline channels. In path length, we can see that most of our conversions happen with a single interaction. But looking at the yellow bars, we can see that over 30% of the revenue required at least two interactions. Let's focus on just one kind of conversion. Almost 40% of these conversions required two or more interactions. Let's narrow it down further to just the conversion paths in which customers interacted with one of our AdWords ads. Over half of the revenue from these conversion paths required at least two interactions. Let's look at the time lag report. It shows how long our conversion paths are in days. In this case, 78% of conversions happen during a single day of interactions. The top conversion paths report shows the unique sequences of interactions that led up to conversions. Looking at the first path in the table, we see that the most common conversion path for our customers was two interactions with Google Organic Search. And there were 41 conversions from this path. Grouping by medium, we see that the most common conversion path was two interactions with Organic Search. Grouping by source, we see that the most common path was two interactions with Google. Since we have so many interactions with Google Search, let's take a look at which keywords were involved. We'll select Keyword or Source Medium Path. The most common path was two searches for Google Store. The second most common path was two direct visits to our site. In other words, two visits in which people typed our URL into their browser. With channel groupings, you can actually group and label channels in whatever way makes sense to you. For each channel grouping you want to create, you define a set of labels. This channel grouping has three labels, brand search, referral, and social. Since we're analyzing data for the online Google store, the brand search label is defined as any keyword search with the word Google. And we've set up the other two labels to group together the channels we want. Once the channel grouping is defined, it's available to select in a report. So here, after selecting that channel grouping, we can see how brand searches, social sites, and other referrals all interact to drive conversions. Top Conversion Paths is powerful because it gives you clear insights into how your channels interact, the patterns that come up between keywords, ads, and everything else. Understanding your conversion paths and your customer behavior in this way can help you make campaign management decisions. Often, you want to understand the role that each channel plays in conversions. For example, which channels and keywords tend to initiate a sales cycle? This is the role of first interaction. Which channels and keywords tend to close sales? This is the role of last interaction. And which channels and keywords are visitors interacting with during the sales cycle, but prior to actually buying? This is the role of assist interaction. The Assisted Conversions Report summarizes the roles and contributions of your channels. Assisted Conversions and Assisted Conversion Value show the number and monetary value of sales and conversions that the channel assisted. The higher these numbers, the more important the assist role of the channel. Last Interaction Conversions and Last Interaction Conversion Value is the number and monetary value of sales and conversions that the channel closed. The higher these numbers, the more important this channel was to closing sales and finalizing conversions. Assisted to last interaction conversions summarizes the channel's overall role. A value close to zero indicates that the channel closed more sales than it assisted. A value close to one indicates that the channel equally closed sales and assisted them. The more this value exceeds one, the more the channel assisted sales and conversions. Click First Interaction Analysis and you can see which channels initiate conversions. First Interaction Conversions and First Interaction Conversion Value show the number and monetary value 
of sales and conversions that the channel initiated. The higher these numbers, the more important the channel's role in initiating new sales and conversions. For first to last interaction conversions, a value close to zero indicates that a channel closed more sales than it initiated. A value close to one indicates that the channel equally initiated and closed sales. The more this value exceeds one, the more the channel initiated sales and conversions. You can see these metrics for all your channels, and even your channel groupings, down to the keyword level. You get important insights into the role that each of these traffic sources plays in your conversions. That's an overview of the multi-channel funnel reports. Thanks for listening.